We back, y'all. I'm John, a.k.a. John Lee Malvo, a.k.a. JC, a.k.a. Jesus Cristal. Yeah, I'm Tiffany. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Tiffany. Yeah. That, that's about it. And we back. But we got a new segment for y'all. It's called, uh, How Does It Hold Up? Yep. How does it hold up? How do they hold up? How does, How does it, it, it basically we're doing a movie review of uh movies from like the 90s 80s 90s 80s 90s so what's that 20 years ago 30 years ago something like that yeah we're trying to see if they how they held up if they held up at all yeah because we have certain cult classics that are just you know ingrained in our brain about how great they are and i don't know if it was because of the time or it was all we had, and we know no better. So we're gonna rewatch them, and then we're gonna recap them, yeah. and then talk about them. Like, was it a good? Was it a good movie? Yeah. So, first pick was mine. Yes, it was his. I picked set it off. First one was his. Set it off. That's a that's a solid movie. Well, at least <sighs> it was. <sighs> So set it off. Um, let's see if I can find an, a, a synopsis of some sort of this movie. I'll give you a quick and dry one right here. It's about four young ladies that get together and they have After some... being fired from her job as a bank teller, Frankie, begins working with, at a janitorial service with her friends. I think it's Tishon, right? Tishon? T.T. Yep. A single mother, Cleo, a lesbian, <laughs> and Stoney, who is dealing with the recent death of her brother. The women are struggling with their finances, so they decide to start robbing banks. At first, the group is successful, but then soon attack the uh, uh, excuse me, but then soon attract the attention of an of uh, of uh, ah. My tongue has me in a chokehold right now. Of an of an obsessed right. detective. There you go. What was his name? Stro. 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 Yeah. Okay, so yeah, that is kind of sort of what happens in the movie. So you read mine. So when your movie gets picked, I get to read the synopsis. Yes, yours. yes, yes. Because I'm gonna yes. give y'all the quick and dry. We ain't doing all that reading. No, we gonna read other it. people's versions of it. I'm gonna mm -hmm. give you my version of the story. Now I want you to see what the people who actually made the movie said. That's IMDb. They ain't made the movie. <sighs> okay. But that's the gist of it. The movie starts off with uh, Frankie in the bank. And she working, and her homeboys from her neighborhood come in, and they robbing the joint. And she like, Darnell, don't do this. And Darnell like, give me the money and stop playing around. Right? <laughs> the guy, not the, the one that lives, the one guy that lives, he is the worst. I've never liked him as an actor, and I've never, you know, never seen him in anything outside of like a little like gangster role i mean he got his ass beat i think in menace of society and i don't know where what else he was in um he was in he was in don't be a menace you know what he i'm got, saying he got beat in that too you know what i'm saying like i've never really, so i've never really liked him as a character I he plays his role though they keep picking him for those same roles yeah, it's the same role i mean anyways that has nothing to do with nothing i just so yeah, three guys went in there in the Frankie's bank, robbed the joint. She just happened to know him from the from around the way. Mm -hmm. They get shot. Two of them get shot. One of them gets away. Yep. Because the one dude was up on the counter and decided to stand up there forever. Yeah. When it, when the cop came out, it was like, hey, he was like, I'm gonna stand here. I'm gonna stand here. I'm gonna stand here. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. It's great. Cinematography was absolutely. Pristine. Breathtaking. Pristine. The camera views, <laughs> everything is pristine. So the one guy gets away. On his way out, camera gets a shot of AP on the back because of his head. Because that's what you should do when you commit a crime. 
have markings that are distinct about yeah. yourself. Yeah, because they ain't had no mask or nothing on. Oh, no. What do you need a mask for? No, they ain't need All niggas look alike. Yep. What do you need a mask for? You yep. don't need a mask. He had his, his AP cut in the back of his head. Which we find out later stands for Acorn Projects. Acorn Projects. He ain't even from Acorn. Right? <sighs> so uh-huh. then, what's the next thing? She scene? gets fired. Oh, yeah. They pressing her up afterwards. <laughs> they like, you know, what do you do like, when there's a gun to your head? What's the procedure <laughs> when there's a gun to your head? That's add the stroll. Detective stroll come in and press her up. Now, I'm thinking, in the, I don't know back then. I have worked at a bank. There is no way in the world that, and I know they probably had to move it along for storytelling purposes, that she would have got fired on the spot like that. They would have had to do an actual investigation because that's wrongful termination. They, she could sue them. It's the whole thing. Wait a minute. When did this movie come out? Okay, that's a good question. I don't know. I thought it was 90s. That 95? Wasn't, 96. 96. Maybe that wasn't the procedure in 96. Okay, right. Because I didn't, I didn't work in a bank until the. <laughs> See, they saw this movie the, and they the was thousands. like, you know what, we're going. We I was working wrong. in the bank in like, oh two, oh hey, three, hey, oh four, something like that. There was new procedures by then. I just don't see it, but hey, I've never been to California even and worked in a bank. Maybe it's different out there. I mean. I mean, they had her pressed up the night of. Yeah, she was still like bleeding, like not bleeding, but the people's blood from the day they got oh, shot yeah. in the head in yeah. front of her yeah. was still bleeding on her little nice little suit. Mm-hmm. And they was like, but you fired yeah, because you knew him. And she was like, all right, well, you know what? At first she begged. She was like, why y'all doing this to me? Please, come on. Then afterwards she was like, okay, just y'all relentless with it. All right, I'm going to suck it up. And you ain't even offered me a drink, sister. She said that to the black girl on the way out. <laughs> that was like a, you know. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I mean, a black girl, she was caping for that white guy. I mean, he, she was like, what you want, boss? Boss, what you need? That's boss, her partner. Boss, what you need, boss? You need me to. That's her partner, Detective Stro. Yeah. So, anyways. Um, it, it, the story goes on. The, Jada's uh, brother lies about. Getting it first, he lied about getting into no getting a scholarship to school. Right? Well, yeah, 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 because they had the party for him, and right, she was like, all like, "Hey, he was nice about yeah, him, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you going to college?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. He lied about that. He was like, "I can go, but I ain't no money." She was like, "All right, I got you." So she does what a lot of women have done, which is sacrifice their bodies to get men, you know, get their brothers or somebody some money. Or at least it's the storyline people use a lot. She sold some coochie to get her brother tuition. Tuition. What she and thought it wasn't was going to be tuition. It wasn't even tuition. Like, I don't know how much the check was because I didn't look that close. But it was like, I know this isn't enough, but we're going to get the rest. And then, and then he was like. I ain't even peeped that. Then he was like, um, actually, I didn't even get in school. So, so then she like, she smacked him and stuff. Because cause why you lie? And I didn't laid up under this nasty ass sweaty old man, and and you not even going to school. Hold up, we jumping, we jumping ahead. No, we not. Yeah, cause no, we not. before after the party, he had just told her like, all right, look, we ain't going. I ain't I ain't going because I ain't got enough money. Mm-hmm. Then they went and worked. They mm-hmm. went to work with my man Luther. Luther introduced where they work at. And how they all work together. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We okay. can't leave out my man Luther now. <sighs> Luther was the star of the show. He was? Yeah, Luther came in that jump. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. <laughs> and what'd he do? He was like, I'm Luther. Oh, okay. That was the energy he came with. This is my show. I'm Luther. This is what it is. They had the only girl that had a baby very much childish. T.T. And- I don't know if she was supposed to be playing a role of being childish or timid. Well, I know she was timid, but I'm saying like she was kind of given like childish vibes too, where it was like she just didn't understand why stuff had to happen that way. And the baby was quite big to be a baby for her to be having these types of problems. No judgment. I'm just saying like, if you've been a mother for four, years. four years. Say so he was four? 
Okay, three years. I got like two, two, two and a half, maybe and three. And you've never had a babysitter. So what have you been doing for work? Have you been on assistance? Did the assistance stop? Just so many holes yeah. in the story. She has no family, I assume. The only family she has is her girls. Yeah, where the baby be at? Was he? What, he wasn't with them all the time. No, so then so where, where, he, them, where he at then? When she couldn't pay for a yeah, babysitter. That's a, that's a it was just a lot of there. holes in the story when it came to the whole doing stuff for the baby, but then bringing him to a job where he drunk bleach or drunk chemicals of some sort. Um, yeah. I know I'm skipping around, but that, that, you know, when you said introducing the characters, it introduced her to working and it was very... I didn't like her character or character development. It didn't. It didn't make sense. It didn't make sense at all. All right, we're supposed to be telling the story, and then we we'll, have we'll oh, we dissect do? the oh, characters. Oh, okay. I thought we could do that and that because the movie wasn't. I mean, technically, we can do whatever we want. You know oh, what I'm okay. Saying? But I'm just saying, you know, it's too long to do scene by scene. We ain't got to do scene by scene. Oh, okay. but we got to flow through just in case some people haven't seen the joint. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we can get we giving them the just. So anyway, okay. They all four of them work at Luther's janitorial. So we got Frankie's story. She her bank got robbed. She got fired. That's her origin story for the most part. Mm-hmm. Cleo, she just a thugged out lesbian. You know what I'm saying? Queen Latifah plays Cleo. What you call Vivica Fox plays Frankie. Yep. And then. Uh, T.T. What's that lady name? Kimberly Elise. Kimberly Elise plays T.T. Mm-hmm. Baby with the baby. Mm-hmm. And then you got Jada Pinkett Smith's character, Stoney. Yeah. And so Stoney, her issue is her brother got to go to college and he ain't making enough money. Well, she ain't, they ain't got enough money to send him to college. So they thought. Uh-huh. He go over his homeboy house who just happens to be one of the dudes that robbed Frank, Frankie's bank that had the AP on his back. Uh-huh. Dude, like, man, her brother, like, I like the haircut. Slim, like, hey, tell his girlfriend, hook him up. Give him the haircut. Okay. He gets the haircut in the back of his head, leaving his house. Police come up because they come in to get the dude that robbed the bank and mistake him for the dude that robbed the bank. Kill him. Shoot and kill him. Mm-hmm. So that's why Stoney is like, ah. Oh, this her, this her, that's her origin story. That's why I heard she like at her wits end. Ain't got no bread. Parents died. Now her brother did. Mm-hmm. Till you rob a bank. Now they all decide to rob a bank. TT just need the money. Well, in general, right? No, she actually. Uh, oh, well, they took loses, her baby. Yeah, she loses the baby. They took she, her baby because he drunk bleach while he or was at work with chemicals her. Chemicals or something. Yeah. CPS come take the baby. Hey, what was up with the CPS lady? Like, she just came in kind of mean, no? Or is that that's just how, how they, they come all, in? I feel like that's how they all come in, like firm. Yeah. Like, like they're supposed to be, um, was it, well, Child Protective Services. So they're supposed to be oh, an yeah. advocate for a child. Right, so you like, they like, you negligent. Yeah. So you getting this and, energy. And, and in defense of the CPS in that regard, it does, it does, when it's, she would have been better off keeping the baby if it happened at home. You know, like they would have been like, there's a one time off accident and it happened at home. She lost track of her baby. To bring your child into a hazardous environment right. and expect things <clears throat> to go well, that's a lapse in, like neglect. Like that's a lapse in judgment. So they, I, I imagine if it was like a one off and she did it at home, like the baby got into something Mm -hmm. because that does happen at home. Unfortunately, my son ate some lotion one time. Luckily it was lotion. that didn't have anything in it. Ain't nothing wrong with a little lotion, but, um, babies get into stuff. Yeah. So that's, she at her wits in there because they took her baby. They took it. Well, she, well, they took a baby and she has to show proof. So this is where it falls off another scene continuity or storyline didn't make sense to me. Right. Because if you're going to rob a bank, you have to show judge legally how do you have money. How do you explain being poor one day and having $75,000 the next? Well, they, she had to show that she had enough money to send the baby to daycare. That's what it was. I don't think that's what it was. It yeah. was just saying you had enough money. They period. say you have to have it. That was her issue because the whole issue was that she took the baby to work. 
And it's like, oh, you can't provide baby with adequate daycare, adequate daycare. So they was like, when you go before the judge, you're going to have to show that you can put the baby in daycare before we give you the child back. And so she was like, I need the money now. You know what I'm saying? And so I don't still don't understand. I'm with you. How you going to be like, I ain't have it before, but I got it now. Right. I didn't have it yesterday, but today I'm good. Got it raised from Luther. Yes. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway. So that's her thing. That's why she need to rob the bank now. And then Cleo, she was just down for whatever. No? Yeah, yeah I just think she was down she, for whatever. Oh, you know what it was? <laughs> they, they, if I felt like they added a little, like, all right, we got to give her something. So remember when Main Man pulled up with the nice whip, hopping with the with the hydraulics next to and, her. And he and like, her, man, when you going to fix up your bucket? And her car been and broke. her car been broke, broke since seventh grade. Like I said. They had to give her something. Yeah. But, it, yeah, I think she was more down with the down. But you can see she was down by that. Like, after he pulled off, she was like, man, it's some bull. And she got out and was like, you, that's when she was like, we need to do something. We need to get some money. He say so. I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I and that's when Frankie was like, we just need to go in there and blow it the fuck up. The bank. Like I said, so moving on. Okay, so they robbed the first bank. <laughs> Lord, because this. They robbed the first bank. It went well. They got like 12 grand. A piece. No. It was twelve grand total. It was twelve grand total. Yes, it was, and oh. so they split it. It was like three grand each. Nah. Yes. Okay. Leo, Cleo, whoever ran through her money. I don't think TT should have got any money. She ain't do nothing. I was with Frankie on that one. Yeah, I mean. I mean, you give her a little something, be like, here, this should be enough for you to take to the judge and be like, he can go to daycare for wasn't, a week. He hadn't got taken by then. Oh, he hadn't got taken by then. No. They robbed the first bank before he got taken? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so what was her? And so the second hmm. so the second bank that they did, they got good amount of money there. It was like almost three hundred thousand, right? So that was the money that they was like, we we gonna split this up. And everybody gonna good. everybody gonna go off on their own ways. They made a mistake, hit the money at their job. In like a vent, and Luther found it, and he. They were supposed to. They split it up, but they were supposed to still act like normal for a little bit before they dip off. That was why they were supposed to still go to work. That's why they hid the money at work because they was like, "All right, okay. we're gonna the police. If the police come looking for us, we're gonna wait till this the heat die down, supposedly, just in case. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna hide the money at work. We're gonna still function like normal." That's what they were supposed to do, but okay. they didn't do that. Queen Latifah went and hooked her ride up. That was for the first bank robbery. That was for the first one? Yeah. And we got $3,000. No, right, so that she did. She hooked her ride up. She got her girlfriend some lingerie, and she came, and then they all three came in, and, and the shopping was like, yo, we're supposed to be, you ain't been at work all week. Oh. That was the first one. I be getting mixed up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so the second make robbery went. It went well. You know what I'm saying? So uh, T.T. They, participated they, in this one. Yes, she did. And she got the drop on the uh, cop who was like, who was a dumb cop because she had on the same wig and glasses that everyone else did. He, she was laying next to him. Yeah. He, he decides to that. pull out his gun and she's like, nah, nigga. Put Don't it you, away. Yeah. But anyways, so they go, they get away. Right, she busts down the wind like craziness. She just gets a car, busts in the window. They have no to be bank robbers. They have no awareness of the surroundings because as soon as they pulled up to the first, um, the second bank robbery, there was a cop car in front, cop car in back because they were dealing with a uh, a homeless man. My thought would be that's okay, the third bank robbery. No, that was not the third bank robbery is where they all died. With the cop car? Yes, when they got what they was like motorcycle, a cop motorcycle in front. Yeah, and she back. had to get out and go get the and go get the Ford Explorer. Yes, that was the second one. No. Yes, it was. I'm gonna tell you why. You ready? <sighs> yes. Cl- Cl- um, Cleo didn't even do the um, Vivica drove for the third one. She had the Explorer. You're right. Like I said. 
Cleo had to go get a second car because, you know, outside was crazy and they, they couldn't get away. It and was their a initial suburban that she went and got. And she went and get, got it and she bust through the bank, you know. where she come window. from? They shot it like she went to a parking garage next door or something. And but I'm saying when she bust in, like we saw the one window where the cops were. What what other window did she come in where the cops wouldn't see? No, they saw. I don't know. Either way, she bust in, bust out, went backwards, busted another wall out, then went forward. Anyways, they made it. It went well. She was ready to, they were all ready to peace out until the money got stolen. And so when they tried to go get the money back from Luther, it, things went left and they killed him. And so they still didn't know where their money was, but at this point, they are suspects. Every one of them are suspects in a murder and bank robbery. Bank robbery. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to rob the biggest bank in town because yeah. we're hot. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. Yeah. We're going to do that tonight. Yeah. Because we need more money. We need more money because that's the only way to get out of town is yeah. we need more money. Not to just run and, you know, see what happens. Yeah. Maybe let's run and rob a bank somewhere else. But you know what we're going to do? We gonna rob a bank, and then the next day we gonna get the money. Rob the bank. That's what we are gonna do. We'll rob the bank, get the money. TT gonna go tomorrow to get the baby, right? But she still ain't got the baby back. And then they gonna get out of town. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, on team, ready. Break. Break. Hold up, though. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up, though. <laughs> We and so failed, everybody dies, we which makes to, sense. Damn. We failed to mention, <laughs> which was kind of weird, when the first bank that they robbed, right? Uh -huh. They went in and cased the joint. Jada Pinkett character and uh, TT. They were supposed to be going in and casing the joint, and then that's when Main Man hollered at her. Right, but that wasn't even the bank they robbed first. No, it wasn't. Part. It wasn't, yeah. yeah. So why were they casing that one? Oh, that's right, because they, they cased that one and then decided... They gonna go do another one. Jump the gun on another one. Yeah. Yeah. Frankie jumped the gun on she another was like, one or something. I oh. need to push y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, Blair Underwood, he he work at the bank that they cased. The the last bank they ended up robbing. The last one. He like a bank manager there. And he ended up hollering at Jada Carrot. Uh, Stony, right? Uh -huh. What was weird to me was they went in to case the joint. Her whole family just got killed, basically. Mm -hmm. Her brother, her parents are dead. Her parents been dead. But I okay, was. but her brother died mm -hmm. and dude come in and he hollering at her or whatever. Uh -huh. Your brother just died. You got time to get some draws? She just, she literally said on the way out, maybe he'll put a smile on my face. Okay. She literally said that. In the midst of you robbing banks. I mean. You I, got time to get some draws. There's always time for draws. Okay. All right. It's always time. So he's 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 got a little thing with her throughout the whole movie at this point. Here the All bank. the bank robberies, you know what I'm saying? On the side, she getting some draws with him. You know what I would have liked would if there were liked? more bank robberies. Well done. There was only 3. Well, realistically, they not professionals. Yeah, I know. So this is kind of it was in their wheelhouse to do those 3 and get which why it makes cool. sense that everybody dies. You know what I'm saying? Like, it really does make Everybody sense. except Jada. I didn't understand and that's why. because the guy let her go. What's his name? What's her name had a good death, I thought? Queen Latifah. It was a good death. For what it was, it was a good death. TT's death was stupid. It was just like, dude came out of nowhere, a security guard. Pop, pop. She was done. Game over for her. At least Queen Latifah was like, you know what? I got some music here after this. That is not what she played. About, to, about to spark up a little cigarette. You know, hit the hydraulics on them. And then she got out. It was like, ah. Then she got to do a little acting when she died. That's good acting. That's good thespianism. She got some more jobs, some more roles after that. I'm trying to tell you. Queen had a good death. But what I didn't understand was why Vivica Fox and Jada split up. They just had to go the separate ways. Why? Because, man, it was hot. Jada ran. They all left. They Both of them got out the car when Queen Latifah was going to die. Mm -hmm. Went the other way. 
Nobody was chasing them. Jada decided, oh, there's a bus station. I'm going to go that way. Vivica, let's split up. No, nigga, we both getting on this bus, and we both going to get low and go on ride to Mexico. I don't think nobody said let's split up. I just think yes, they got Vivica to- said we got to split up, girl. Oh, well, maybe they felt like they could get away with not being together. Man, please. We'd have been both on that bus. Where they split up at, there was no bus station in sight. Mm-hmm. It was the, you could see it in the shot. It was the, um, oh, I didn't the see garage it. for the bus station. I just thought it was a garage. I didn't know it was a bus station. We both would have been running to that garage then. Why we need to split up? Why That's not? what I'm saying. But then, she on the bus. Why she all in the window seat, head up? What? Now that, I, as soon as I was like, oh, you get it? Okay, great. You put a hat on to try to be a decoy. Sure. Then you sit in a window seat. Yes. Makes more sense. And then Vivica's death, it was just, she got the cop, got the drop on the cop, had him at gunpoint. Then she was like, what should, what you do when, the, what's the procedure when the gun's to your head? And he was like, oh, okay. And then she let it go, turned around and ran. And they shot her. What? That was stupid. I mean, I know there was a lot of stupid stuff, but that was stupid. <laughs> no arguments from you there. Is this thing on? <laughs> Is it on? Okay, so then we cut Jay to make it to Mexico on the bus. She get on the phone, call Blair Underwood, and he like, I'm glad you made it out. And she like, yes, thank you. Hang up. Movie's over. She got all the bread from the well, last well, job. Her pers- her portion of it. Mm-mm. Yeah, because oh, her yeah, yeah, Vivica, right, Vivica had a bag. Well, her portion and yeah. Queen Latifah's portion or Maybe, whatever, whatever. whatever it was, the split. Movie goes off. The end. Who's the star of this movie? You know what was great? The soundtrack. The soundtrack back then was vicious anyway. Was awesome. I was jamming the whole movie. Yeah, they had that bone drawn on there. Boom, 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 boom. I was jamming the whole movie. Who was the star of the movie? Jada, I guess. She was the only one that survived. Hmm. Who was the leader of the crew? Was it Jada or was it Vivica? Mm -hmm. I felt like it was kind of like Vivica. But Vivica knew Jada was more of a... uh, uh, bring her together. You know Who? What I'm saying? My question. What's your question? Does this hold up? Does the movie set it off? How hold? does it hold up? All right, I'll say this. Out of one, we're going to do out of 10. Yep. I'll give it a strong. When you first saw it. Wait a minute, go do that. When you first saw it, you was like... I can't remember exactly, but more than likely back then, I probably was like 8 out of 10. Okay, okay. Right. Now, mm-hmm. if I was I, I, trying to put myself in the mind of I've never seen this before and I'm just seeing it now, uh-huh. probably a 5, 6 on a good day. Okay. What you give it? So then, I did. Let, let's be clear. I've never like set it off. Okay. Never. I didn't like the premise of black women at their wits in, and they have to rob a bank, and then everyone dies. Like it was just sad. I cried so much. I don't need that type of stress. So I didn't like the movie itself. You Although, cried when this fr- when you I first did, saw it. Oh, I bawled. <laughs> Oh my God! The amount of tears when when Cleo died was ridiculous. Wait a minute. No. Nope. Wait a minute. Hold on. We got to pause right no, here. No, I don't have to. When I said she had a good death, you was like, ah, whatever. It wasn't but good. You cried. That's because it was emotional, and What's the music death? and the music didn't help. Da, like da, da, da. that song is sad. That was a great death. I'm sorry. Okay, well, good. I'm, I, okay. That was probably the best part of the movie. Okay, so. <laughs> then Very I nasty probably, Nate. 
I probably <laughs> who's nasty mate? The dude that gave her the check. The car salesman dude. Oh, that was so gross. <laughs> <laughs> he was so sweaty. It was so gross. Uh, what was he doing? I don't know. But maybe it was just for the scene because he wasn't just, moving that much. He was much. hunching. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, hmm, what's going on, Nate? That was gross. Um, but um, probably then I probably would have gave it maybe a seven. Okay. Maybe a seven, maybe a six. Because, you know, I don't like those type of movies. <sighs> okay. Uh, and now... It has to be like a four. All right, hold on. Before, wait a minute. Let's let's do this. The as acting a, was as a uh, movie critic. Not, I'm not okay. You got to put yourself in a movie critic. Movie. Right, you I can't am. Can't be like I don't like these types of movies, so it's already going. No, be no, no. Right. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. Like there were so many holes in the plot and the storyline. It didn't flow well. So you like, give it a it four. Didn't make, yeah, because it didn't make sense right. at the end of the day, and stuff that would not. <laughs> necessarily have to make sense back then you let slide uh it's like well they put a lot of passion into it so you 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 give it you and give it, great. it came out in 96 yeah it wasn't a whole lot of black movies coming out in 96 shit there ain't a whole lot of black movies coming Not out now. now yeah so um, so, so, you, so that's another thing you'd be like, well, it's black people, so you know, you do, you give it grace. Black and director, F. Yeah. Gary Gray, he's came a long way, praise be. What has he done recently? Straight Out Compton was him, right? Oh, okay, that was good. He did, was it? I, I thought it was good. Oh, okay, I, I thought it was well, well shot. Granted, I don't know if you're gonna go off of like. Oh, what was really it happened? was it accurate? Nah, I don't know because I, I don't. Talking about I, that. I'm just oh, saying, you know, just in the general. acting was well. It was well paced. Okay. What else he done done? Um, recently, I, I feel like he's done some comedies too, but maybe not. He did Friday, right? Yep, he did that. He did Men in Black, Law Abiding Citizen, Italian Job. Oh, okay, yeah, he done came a long way. Okay, I'm about to say. Way. Well, not really. I mean, the joint from a directorial standpoint. It wasn't horrible. Right. I've seen way worse movies. I oh, see of I see people watch stuff that's way worse on a daily basis. Are you coming for me right now? No, I'm just oh, I'm okay. just saying in the realm I mean, of because I admit that I do watch stuff that's not the greatest. <laughs> I'm just saying in the realm of black cinema, this joint is not the worst of the worst. Yeah, 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 yeah. I never said it was the worst of the worst. But so the you, question and then I is, also want to give it. I don't. I try not to give stuff like fives or fives or sixes. Pretty much five and above for me is rewatchable. Like I'll watch it if it's on in the middle. I'll turn it on. It could just be on. So you are saying it doesn't hold up? For me, it doesn't. Like I would never. I, you're going to have to watch it. Like, my kids are going to have to watch it because you have to know what these movies are. Like, it's a must. In our household, you need to be aware of what movies are and have seen them before, right? We just made that a rule in our house. We started watching movies when our 14-year-old because it's about that time that she knows the cult classics. And all this little stuff she'd be seeing on TikTok, she need to know where it comes from. Um, but... Um, this is the one and done. Like, I will make them watch it the once... But this is nothing I will just turn on. No, there ain't too many robbery movies that you're going to just turn on. That's though. not true. What? I'll watch Italian Job. It could be on in the background. I'll watch Takers. It can be on in the background. I'll watch um, Gone in 60 Seconds. That could be on in the background. These are all um, white movies. Uh, uh, Takers not a white movie. Yes, it is. There's black people in it. Who directed Takers? I don't know. Let me see. Who produced it? Mm. <clears throat> and these are uh, probably had way bigger budgets. You know what I'm saying? Um. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, I don't know who this is. But I agree with you, though. I wouldn't. It's not a thing where it's like, all right, we're gonna keep watching, set it off over and over again. One and done is good. Yeah, I, I agree with that. One yeah. and done. So basically, it does not hold up. For me, it doesn't. But for you, you said it did. 
Um, the lowest I would give it is a. I could see anywhere between a four and a six. And so with that, that's not a good hold up number. You know what I'm saying? I feel like in order to be like, all right, this holds up, you got to be six and up. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like six is, that's pushing it out of ten. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Really seven to ten rated now. Yeah. Then that's, it holds up. So I guess it don't hold up. It just had so many plots wrong with the story. The stomp, it was holes. It was. I'm going to tell you what's really wrong with it. Oh, here we go. What's wrong with it? Jada Pinkett Smith. Why was she pinking everybody in the movie? What's wrong with the pinky thing? What's wrong with that? Look. It's not as expensive as this. Man, something wrong with people that do this. We all see there's something wrong with that. Why are we going for her? <laughs> Let's just not even make her a thing. No, I was just joking. But yeah, that set it off. It don't hold up. I haven't decided what we're watching next. She get to pick this time. Yeah. And I'm going to run through the whole movie and summarize it and all of that. Because I'm pretty <laughs> sure I ain't going to like it. Probably not. I don't know. It depends. I be liking some of your movies. No, you don't. Some of your movies that's fall on your side. I yeah. be like, oh, that's like bad. My <laughs> stuff, you be like. Oh. That is not true. I watch all everything you recommended. I watched. No, I'm saying I'm not saying you won't watch it, but oh. you are gonna be like there. Yeah. When I tell you I was blown watching, set it off yesterday, and I still remember more of the daggone movie than he did. <sighs> <laughs> I was so blown. Face Watched was it. tight the whole movie. It I was enjoying like this. <laughs> <laughs> Acorn, probably. he ain't even from Acorn. She like this. <laughs> Asshole, perhaps. <laughs> they had their little jokes. Oh, it was just awful. I guess it was whatever. But that was my girl from Bat. That was my girl. Oh, yeah. That is her. She's been in a couple of little things. How to be a player. I don't know her name. I don't either. She, she seemed like a nice person, though. Is she a comedian? She was I don't know. I don't know. She just seemed like a bubbly, a, a cool person to be around. <laughs> yeah. He ain't even from Acorn. All that. That was my girl. Hook him up. Yeah. Him, like that guy that he just did. Hook him up. I don't like him. Like, he did nothing to me. Like, if I met him, I'd be like. <laughs> Why was he sitting up under his arm, too, when, when the brother came over? He sat like, dude was on the couch. Hook him up was on the couch like this. And dude came and sat under his arm. He gave his little champagne. He's like, yeah, thank you. He was like, yeah. You want this? Hook him up. What man do you know sit under somebody else's arm? The amount, I've never met this man before in my life. <laughs> you just don't like him. I don't like him. I would be like Peaches on um on <laughs> on um how to um uh, low down dirty shame. And she punched the uh <laughs> she punched the uh the soap opera star for what he did on TV. That's how I feel. I got anger for him for what he does on TV. Is that Jada's best role? Peaches? Mm-hmm. You know, we say it's, that for another time. We okay, say for another okay. Time. It's the most notable for me, but I don't know. Your head going to be all in the mic. I know. I had to move it before. Oh, My apologies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so set it off. If you haven't seen it, you have to see it, right? You just have to because yeah. you have to, right? Yeah. But that's it. Yeah. That's all I got to say. Unfortunately, it don't hold up. It don't hold up, though. But we'll be back with yeah. more. Like, Just comment, share, all that good stuff. Tell Subscribe me what you thought. You Maybe you thought it was the best movie since, since you know, whatever. Hook him up. You know, Maybe you from Acorn Projects. We don't know. Let us know what you think. And we'll be back with her movie next time. It's going to be great. It's going to be good. Yeah.